What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Post and Fishing. We're in the kitchen today. Long time we did not catch and cook. I went out last weekend, a couple weekends ago with Kalpoos. Jirish invited me out. And we caught quite a few fish. Uh, not, not any big, big ones, but we caught some decent fish. A couple of them we caught, well I caught, with these two nice lane snappers or redfish as we can turn that. What's fish on here for me guys? Everything on these small rod feels big, you know? Open is a nice uh, wall here. And it is, man. <laughs> first fish. Yeah, first red fish. Yeah. Hope is now beachy and I have no wire on this. Nah, it's that little red. Nah. I just hope it's not a beachy. This line is very thin. <laughs> He's my alafi. Oh, they could catch you, bitch. I go take care of your heads, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and with these two, I want to try something a little bit different. Catch and cook style, we're going to do two versions of fried fish traditional, unhealthy fried fish. And then we're going to do a healthy version of fried fish. So you're going to see how it goes. I'm going to season them up the same way. Some basic all purpose seasoning, paprika, garlic powder. And I'm going to try some Trini green seasoning, which is garlic and shadow venue or culantro. Season them up the same way. Traditional one, I'm going to coat it in some plain all purpose flour, deep fried. It. I mean, it's going to be fully submerged in oil. The other one, some light coating of olive oil on it and try it in the air fryer. See how it comes out after. To a taste test, I have a very special guest. Hopefully, she can join me to the taste test. Jenna G, the hijab, the PT. Okay, she doesn't have to be swimming across the screen like that. Right, so that's basically the plan today. We're gonna cook up these two fish. It'll be a pretty quick video. Fried fish, traditional Trini style, and healthy version. Healthy version. So stay tuned. So, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make some slices in the fish. Small fish, these, each of these are about. 10 to 11 inches, so I think perfect size to fry whole, whole fried snapper. Let's make it about, I'd say maybe three small slits on each side. This is the absorb seasoning all the top. Okay, three slits, one, one there. So, as I said, this basic seasoning, we're gonna squeeze them with a bit of lime. Lining up both sides, and then we're going with all purpose seasoning. JGM, of course. This is the salt, so we go fairly generous on it. We go one side, the next side after garlic powder, garlic powder, and everything, guys. This makes everything taste better. And of course, some paprika. Love with fish without paprika. One turn them over, same thing. You can season it any how you want. I mean, this is, this is just the basic seasoning that I use. And I find it always comes out with a pretty good flavor combination. You can throw in some cayenne, some chili. But I highly recommend use JJ products. This guy's fine. Yeah, just gonna give it some love. Massage it in there. Get those, get that season in all the crevices, all the cracks inside the cavity as well. Kind of not so good to do after you went fishing and you have so much cuts on your hand. It's good in a little bit, but not part of it. So there we have it. So we want to let this rest for like about maybe 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put some of the green season in it. Okay guys, so the fish has been sitting here for about 15 minutes. We're gonna throw in the fresh green season, which is culantro, chandon bain. As much as you want. I'm gonna grate a couple of cloves of garlic in it just before we fry it. So we're frying two ways. One is the traditional deep fry, coated in the flour way. And the other one is just a 
pan fried. Healthier, but not all healthy, but it's a little bit healthier, you know? We're gonna see how they come out in the end. I'm gonna do a taste test and see how it goes. Like the taste test, I'm walking behind you guys. She looking because she hungry. Relax, relax. <laughs> we go fry this now. Relax. No, <laughs> Alright, so in the next pan, we're just gonna put some olive oil. We pan fry it, like I said. So there's a light coating on it. Like more? That's enough, that's enough. Okay. That's deep fry, put it in the flour, fry it. Pan fry, we just put it on the pan just like that. It doesn't stick. I'm just adding a small piece of butter into the olive oil so the fish doesn't stick. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Right. So we have some regular all purpose flour here. Taking one fish, Ooh. coating them, coating them, a little small. You know, we have big bowls. Yeah. So you're not putting egg. Oh, egg. It's just traditional fry, like all the old time folks used to fry. My grandmother used to fry. Probably your grandmother used to fry the same way too. Actually, I fry like that too. Sure. Yeah, we'll put egg and everything. When you're doing fried dry. Oh yes, 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 yes. So like I said, this fish is about 10 inches, 10, 11 inches. So just the correct size, I think, to fry hole. It's not the other scary part when we drop it in here. She's in back in the way already. Coat it as best as you can. Be careful, it drops in and it to you. But after they coat here, let it sit for like I said, two minutes. So I'll put the other one to start cooking. So light pan fry for this guys. Just put it in. Ooh, maybe I'll just put it Hopefully it cooks through. Yeah, a little big. But we will fill them accordingly. Mm -hmm. Alright. So now it's been just about two minutes for this bad boy here with the flour. We're going into the hot oil. Just dust off any excess flour. Make sure your oil is hot. We'll put last swim. Yeah, he goes! <laughs> oh, it was correct temperature, guys. Might be gone, pretty good. Alright, let's wow. deep fry, guys. The whole thing swimming in there. This one cooked for like about two minutes already. I'm gonna get my little food. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm gonna melt to the white oil here. If I could. Alright guys, he's been frying for about two minutes. I have to crack the tail because he couldn't fit any pot like I thought he would have. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to put some paper towels. I'm going to put a little bit more. It looks very good though. Yeah. And this guy is just about finished too. I have a pretty feel for this one too, guys. It's too big for the pot. I really thought it was a pretty pot hole. So let's put them side by side. There we go. Oh. Whole fried snapper. There we go, guys. Whole fried snapper. Two ways. One a little healthier than the next. I mean, I'm not saying healthy, but it's not the flour and butter from deep fry. Pan fry, olive oil, butter, butter. So, like, give about a couple minutes and do a taste test. Yeah, ready for it? We've got she dribbling from the side to side of the cook. We have the finished product. We have the traditional flour butter deep fried on the side. We have the slightly healthier version pan fried in olive oil on the side. No butter, just the fish seasoning and pan fried in olive oil. We have Jenergy. She's a well-known foodie. She's gonna give us a taste. 
right? So we're gonna try the the healthy version healthy. first. Healthier version first. Because I think the fried one might you know throw off our taste buds. So honest opinion, you know, we we'll see how it goes. Whole fried snack. Oh you look nice. All the skin. I'm going to skin everything, but a nice part of it. Alright, so here goes. Pretty good, I've taught mm -hmm. you well, I've taught you well. Pretty good, well flavored. Skin slightly crispy, not very crispy. She needs no skin. I've taught you well. So the healthy version tasted pretty good. I mean, was not, not, not it's actually pretty good. Lane snapper. Oh yeah, this is kind of very nice and crispy. It's good, it's nice. And I don't have any heavy oil on it. Got okay, it. okay. Let's I'll go this one. Sip of water. Okay, it is fun. Now we're going to traditional butter deep fried snapper. Crispy. Okay, any skin going crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, you don't even. <laughs> what? Yeah, piece of skin, of course. Here we go. Mm. That takes me back to my childhood. Mm. My grandma used to fry fish. <laughs> I think it tasted better, better? guys. <laughs> For sure. It's crispy, like it just have a. The little flour on the skin. And is it mine? Is it mine? I mean, like, this is how we are yeah, always eating it fried. Fresh, fish. yeah. And you want to go away and stuff, I think this is how it is good. The butter fry. And you can see the skin on that, guys. Wow. So, the deep fried taste test, I give it the win. Your opinion? Mine too. The skin and on, the crispy. And I eat fresh, the skin, and it's so crispy, it's so nice. Yeah, because that's again, it's like yeah. that. Is the flour plus the skin plus the fry. She's still eating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Post and Fishing. <laughs> Not out fishing, but in the kitchen. Um, Try the whole snapper that I caught with fish and carpos. Fried. Fried it both ways, pan fried and deep fried. Both of them tasting good. The deep fried, I think, is tasting a little better. Yeah. But you know, it's not that good for your health. So if you're eating it, eat it often. And you can try the other one. Um, even more often than that. So thanks to Genergy for helping me taste this. Thanks to you guys for watching and always keep on supporting. I appreciate it. Until the next video, I'm gonna keep fishing, keep cooking, keep eating. She's still eating. Fish on, guys. <laughs> Later. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, you practice on